right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about zip files. What are they? How do I open them? And how do I create them? Well, the simple answer is a zip file is a compressed folder that takes up less space on the internet. It's usually full of multiple other files, and just an easy way to bundle everything together for one download and also save a whole boatload of space. Conceptually, the best way to think about it is when you're stomping on a piece of luggage that it shuts just enough that you can close the zipper, but it's all kind of bulging, ready to burst out at the seams. It's just compressing a bunch of stuff together. Now, when you want to open these files, because maybe you downloaded one for a game off the internet or a mod for Minecraft, all you gotta do is right click it. And on instances of Windows, like seven and above, it might be eight and above, Definitely on Windows 10, you can simply say extract all and Windows 10 will send it to your location of choice. And now you can see that in my example zip file, I've got a couple of wallpapers and the hamster dance. The other way that you can open these and the way that I recommend because the software is open source and free is with a program called 7-Zip. This allows you to open it here, extract it to a file of the same name, or just open it directly so that you can see what's inside without actually having to unzip it. And that's available for free. Otherwise, with that program, I can just right click it and extract to here, and it'll basically do the exact same thing. Extract it to this folder, and ask me if I want to overwrite the other one of the same name. This also allows me to right click and to compress these all into their own archive. So we'll add these to zip files and tutorial stuff dot zip and it'll say you know compress zip folder dot zip or i can also compress them into a 7 zip specific version which is basically the seven blah, basically the same thing but it's got slightly more control over like security you can put a password on it or you can make it slightly smaller and these are all available for free on the web this is 7 zip site it's open source you can also get a similar program that makes them a little bit smaller called RAR, but this one you have to sort of pay for. Most people just tell it now, buy it later over and over and over again until it stops asking. Uh, this is very similar, works the same way, it's just called something else. It's worth noting if you do have a RAR file, you can open it with 7-zip and you can also open it with Windows. However, you have to have WinRAR in order to make a RAR file. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you do zip file stuff in Windows 10. Oh, I guess the last thing I can show is if you right click, you can send to compressed zip folder to make a zip folder with regular Windows. However, you can't do fancy things like add extensive security or passwords or other fancy things with it. And it doesn't make them quite as small. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Thanks for joining me. If you have any questions, throw them in the description slash comment section below, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.